Look, I've always wanted to write a poem about death, but I never did because I felt like it'd be too imposing, too, too casual. Like, I would start and immediately you'd be able to tell from, from the angle of my feet, from the color of my palms, that I did not know and could not know. And no matter how many funerals I went to, no matter how many pairs of black shoes I had, I would never be able to write a death poem that didn't breathe too hard and lie rigid under the tongue and hide there coffin like, like a bad actor after he had to lie dead on the stage for an entire scene. I've always wondered what actors think about when they have to lie there dead on the stage. Whether they think about lunch or their girlfriends or the slow tick of the clock on the wall which reminds them that one day perhaps this moment will be in a hospital in the passenger seat of a Volvo, in the last stretch of a marathon, in a country where nobody speaks your language, a line of rifle cartridges over your chest, and suddenly they just suppress this urge to jump up and let out a shriek of fear and indignation into the quiet theater, rip all of his clothes off and run out, leaving the audience caught, blinking at the silent red exit sign. <laughs>